I'm where my league. So memory services on my way to Wales and I cannot wait. Chillaxing in the van in the car park, it's not the most glamorous of places. But you see how quiet it is. Like lack of cars, it's crazy. Um, I'm using this not so good camera, but it's um it's a camera isn't it? Audio is never great on this camera. Like check this crowd out, he's just you know, he knows the score. Nothing here mate. Exciting times. Stay tuned. So here I am. I'm in Halford West. Tes Tesco Extra Car Park. I've stocked up of some good things that I'm potentially going to cook. And I've just had a, a delicious berry set go juice drink. Lots of sugar, but I need it. It's really hot here. And um, I'm going to head to the location. So hopefully it's going to be okay when we get there. So we'll see. I'm a bit... I get... Yeah. I'm a bit nervous about it because I think it might be so busy and I won't have anywhere to park. I definitely won't be able to park where I parked last time. Um, so I might have to do a plan B and then plan B could work. And then I don't think there is a plan C. So I'm really, really nervous. I'm thinking the worst. So anyway, we will see. Okay, after going wrong quite a few times, I'm finally at my destination. And look, I can see it. Look at this view. This is the view I'm going to have tonight. So, from the undergrowth that is nature, to the wind, the wind, good luck, good luck, right? The nettles and the brambles. What we find, the sun is here. The sun is here. It's okay. the next few days. Probably can't hear me. I, I cannot describe like the view I have. Yes, my windows are a bit dirty, but with just my eyes. I've got the perfect view. This is the perfect view. Oh my God. Cheers. I'm not sponsored by Cobra, by the way. I'm not a rich man. I've got a dinky little car, a little bilingo, which allows me to have these amazing views.
and I don't have to pay for hotels or anything like that. I was looking at campsites, well no, no, not campsites, hotels, and I thought, well, maybe one night I could, you know, splurge out, get a cheap hotel somewhere, and it's like, cheapest was like 70 quid. I thought, 70 pounds? I could just stay in a place like this and treat myself to whatever. So, yeah. I've got one of these, just the one, just so you know. And then I'm gonna go down, well, I'm gonna cook, I think, here. And then I'm gonna to attempt to go and see. I might even try the kayak. We'll see. Oh, it's, what time is it, actually? Let's check the time. 20 to seven. So I haven't cooked yet. And, oh my God, this is doing my head in all this stuff. Once I'd gone shopping and got food, I've got no room for it. Didn't think about that. I know you're probably getting bored. That view. I wish, I wish the camera could really show off what it is, but that's it, living in the moment. <sighs> Look at that. Vegetable stir fry with the Yogi chili stir fry sauce. A bit of Chinese inspired. Whacked it in. Bosh. I can enjoy that with the view. Reminder again. It's, it's not enjoyable. I'm way out of my league. This is this is not enjoyable. Oh, I'm knackered. I got soaked as soon as I launched. I've got a little do the thing, stop the water from seeping into the boat or going out of the boat. And now I'm oh yeah. Anyway, I've got to get short somehow. Okay, bye for now. Hello. Oh, I'm so miserable. I don't know if you can see me, but I had to. Okay, here, let's do the story. Okay, the sky isn't dirty, it's just my window. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. I am absolutely knackered. I'm not even. Okay, let me look at the watch on my phone. Oh my god, it's, it's lost the energy. Oh my god, it's five to ten. Okay, listen to this story. I bought this kayak for £80, and I thought, kayak is the way to go. I can go out and see different things that I hadn't seen before. And I thought, brilliant. So I drove all the way to my location, got here, got exactly where I needed to be, and I cooked some food up, and I thought, oh, after some food, I will go down, I'd bring the kayak out for the first time, and I knew high tide would be about nine o'clock. All right, so I went to the, down the bottom, and I put, I put the thing, I put the kayak up, and that took quite a while. And then as soon as I got everything put together, I went to launch it and a massive wave came over and drenched me and the boat inside. Um, and then I realized I hadn't released inside the kayak. There are bits that you have to release. So make sure that if water does get in, it's got away again and out. So I forgot to do that, which wasn't great. And then I kind of paddled quite far out, which I was very pleased about. But I was so tired and wet. I wasn't, the seat I hadn't put in properly. Oh, and then when I come back into shore, got out of the sea, oh my God, it was such a palaver. It was so painful. I was so tired. And then I managed to get the air out of it just 
ram it into the bag, couldn't get most of the stuff in the bag. My bag that was in this new waterproof bag I got, that got wet. And I dragged it all back, threw it in the car with anger, and I'm just soaking wet. I've got, oh you can't see down there, but all my clothes have been just thrown. I'm kind of lying on a towel because I'm so, I was so wet. And it's not warm right now. And I'm still exhausted. And obviously I did drive down today. And I'm just absolutely shattered. So it's about 10 o'clock. And I can't wait to go to sleep. And I just want to throw the bloody kayak in the sea. <sighs> anyway, tomorrow is a new day. Kayak needs to go. It's taking up my room and it's making me angry. I might be in a better mood tomorrow. I might be in a better mood tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of scary drop. Scary, scary drop.